good evening science and technology in india is playing a very very vital role in every field and today we are going to discuss regarding how this technology that is developed by isro is helpful for rescuing the people who got stuck in the seas for example if you look at india there are a large number of people who are considered to be fishermen and they venture into the seas for the purpose of their living as long as everything is smooth and calm there will be no issues at all but sometimes what may happen a situation called distress may be developed that distress may be due to depression cyclone or tsunami in that particular scenario it is very difficult to rescue those people who got stuck in the distress this is the place where exactly the technology that is developed by isro indian space research organization will come into the picture in fact this technology has been introduced in the year 2010 and very recently it has been upgraded and this is called second generation and the name of the technology is distress alert transmitter it was introduced in the year 2010 now it has been upgraded this is called second generation in short it is called dat sg and this is developed by isro what is the difference between these two let me tell you say for example fishermen ventured into the sea and they stuck up in the distress with the earlier technology they had a facility to inform the center on the land accordingly they will make the arrangements and they will go and rescue the people but when it comes to the acknowledgement meaning the people who got stuck on in the sea so they know that they have sent the information but the information has been reached there or not they are not aware by what time the rescue team will be coming and they will be rescued they are not aware but with the enhanced technology they will be acknowledged that your information has been received and our rescue team has started its operations meaning the people who got stuck in the sea so they can be confident that somebody is going to come and rescue them and all this is possible because of the technology very 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 important kindly remember every life is really very important and the technology is really coming in handy to help the people to save the lives of the people even during that particular turmoil even during that time of distress which is really a very difficult task now let me go ahead and show you the points before we go ahead i would like to tell you you know discuss with you few points which you already know number 1 is isro it stands for indian space research organization right and this isro came into the picture in 1969 but you have to go back to the year 1962 where we have established meaning india has established incospar right so what do you mean by this look at this very clearly so this is i n c o s p a r that was established in the year 1962 with dr vikram sarabhai as the first chairman of this what is this it stands for indian national committee indian national committee on space on space research so it stands for indian national committee on space research that was established in the year 1962 but later it has been superseded by isro and whatever we are calling isro that came into existence on august 15th 1969 and the er earlier institution was incospar indian national committee on space research clear so this is what exactly happened and this isro has developed dat it stands for distress alert transmitter now another abbreviation i would like to tell you because in the sessions we are going to use the abbreviations only to save the time it stands for 
maritime rescue coordination centers icg stands for indian coast guards inmcc stands for indian mission control center clear very 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 important one so now what exactly happens let's try to understand i would like to show you the points now but before that i would like to show you one picture so this is how the sea will be during the time of depression or cyclone so during tsunami that will be more very very dangerous and this is how the fishermen venture into sea for the purpose of their living as i told you right now basically what will happen the first version of dat became operational in 2010 i told you now what happens so there is a fishing boat and some fishermen got stuck in the distress immediately they will send the information to inmcc and this will be decoding the information so what is the information here you need to identify the exact location of the fishing boat so that the rescue team will be reaching that place exactly clear and that responsibility is taken care by inmcc the information will be decoded and this will be handed over to mrcc which is functioning under indian coast guards so this is how the system will happen and isro developed improvised dat with advanced capabilities for fishermen to send emergency messages from the boats so whenever there is an emergency the fishermen can send the information to inmcc from there the information will be decoded that will be handed over to mrcc that functions under icg and the icg indian coast guard will start the rescue operations clear very 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 important this is how the technology is coming in handy now look at this so what exactly happens this will be helping for sending the messages through a communication satellite and received at inmcc where the alert signals are decoded for the identity and location of the fishing boat kindly see here here we are using the communication satellite system but otherwise how the messages will reach from one place to the other place this is the place where the communication satellites are coming into the picture number 1 number 2 how do you locate how do you locate the exact position of exact position of the fishing boat that is possible through other satellites called navigation satellites please remember during our science and technology classes we have discussed very elaborately right when i say satellites there are different types of satellites communication satellites navigation satellites remote sensing satellites right education satellites defense surveillance satellites different different types of satellites are there so they will be you know in the either in the low earth orbit or you know this medium earth orbit or geosynchronous earth orbit so in different orbits these satellites are placed clear we have discussed all the points during our regular classes recollect all the points clear now the extracted information is then forwarded to mrcc which is under icc then mrcc coordinates to undertake search and rescue operation to save the fishermen in distress this is how they will be saved and there are now more than 20000 dads are being used very 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 important one here how the technology is being utilized for the purpose of saving the fishermen who are in distress clear so another important point is that taking the advantage of technological development in satellite communication and satellite navigation very 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 important so the both communication satellites are coming into picture navigation satellites are coming into the picture so that you are maintaining the communication and locating the exact place where they got stuck up and they want to know the exact place where the rescue teams must reach clear so and that to do with accuracy 
ISRO has improvised that with advanced capabilities and features evolving to second generation. First is called DAT, second one is DAT SG. Right? This facility, this will be useful for to send back acknowledgement to the fisherman who activate the distress alert from the sea. Meaning, they will be receiving the acknowledgement so that they will be confident. Yes, our information has been reached and the rescue team is coming up to save their lives. They can be confident. Otherwise, right, without knowing anything, how long they will be there, right, in the sea. Next, if you look at the advantages of that second generation, it will give assurance to the fishermen of rescue coming to him. Number one, capable to receive message from control centers. Potential fishing zone information can be transmitted to fishermen on location of good yield in the catch and saves time and fuel. Meaning, the advanced technology, the second generation technology of DAT that is developed by ISRO is not only helpful for the people in distress, but it will be helpful to identify the potential area where large number of a fish is available. So once the information is given, the fishing boat will be going to the accurate place. They will go for fishing, catch large number of fish and come back. That is saving their time, that is saving their money, right? So this is another advantage with the DAT second generation. Similarly, right? But, uh, but what is the guarantee that all the fishermen will understand English? No problem. The messages will be sent in their native languages because they have the, you know, the mobile app system. Alert messages can be sent to the fishermen at sea whenever there are events of bad weather, cyclone, tsunami or any other emergencies. Since we have the technology, so we can right so we can you know identify you know when you know there will be cyclone or bad weather accordingly the information will be sent to the people who are there in the sea clear so that you know so they will be able to come back or they will be reaching some safer place so these are all the advantages of right so that second generation now if you look at this one INMCC has a web-based network management system called Sagar Mitra. Please remember this Sagar Mitra, which maintains a database of registered DAT SGS and helps MRCC to access the information about the boat, coordinate the boat in distress in real time. Obviously, there is a necessity of the coordination. That's the reason why the fishermen, so they have to register and that complete information will be available in Sagar Mitra. So that is a network management system. Clear? And it will be helpful for Indian Coast Guards to undertake search and rescue operation at the time of distress and this will be working for 24 by 7. Clear? So please remember very clearly Definitely, you know, you will be getting questions on science and technology, not only in the preliminary examination, but in all the examinations at the main level, you have huge syllabus with respect to science and technology. Just like any other subject like polity, economy, geography, environmental, uh, environment, history, right? And, and you, you, this is also very, very important. And once you learn the science and technology, then you need to keep on updating the information from time to time from the newspaper. That is the reason why following current affairs is really, really, really important for you. Am I clear? That's all for the day. I'll see you in the next session. Thank you so much. Take very good care.